peace y'all got a topic let's talk about it so a lot of you guys may believe that you're in twin flame relationships i am not the judge i can't tell you if you're in one or not but if you believe you're in a twin flame relationship then this message might be for you so how do you know if you are dealing with the divine masculine versus a karmic masculine all right so we do know that these relationships are supposed to trigger, you know, the fears, the insecurities and things that we need to change within us to awaken us to become our higher selves. I am aware of that. But sometimes we mistake in these relationships as we're supposed to hold back, not express ourselves, not be creative, live in someone else's boxes of insecurities and, you know, not elevate to be who we need to be. Now, when you're with the divine masculine, true enough, like I said, there's a lot of triggers. There's going to be lots of things that this person is going to set you off. But overall, this person is going to be loving, supporting. This person is going to make you bubble up inside, make you want to be the best that you can be. Okay. They're going to support your desires, your dreams, and you guys are going to work together because at the end of the day, you have a divine purpose that God put you guys on this earth to do. Okay. Now, when you're with the karmic masculine, that's a little bit different because I believe that these masculines are running from their self. They don't like the challenge. They try to because God and the ancestors be up in that ass and they, they let them know, hey, you need to get back on the path. And the path, that's why they keep going in and out and in and out because they know that deep down they need to be with you. But sometimes they can't handle it. And they're like running from the truth, running from reality. So what they do is when you're in a relationship with this person, Person, it feels uneasy. You can't be yourself. You don't feel supported. You don't feel loved. There's things that you do that they don't like. Um, they make you feel like you're not doing enough and you're going over and beyond. You start losing yourself. You just go through the ropes with these karmic masculines. Now, my opinion is, yes, they can change. These karmic masculines can wake up one day and say, enough is enough. I'm tired of wasting my time. I'm ready to do right. And they can come back into your life and, and you have to discern whether or not you feel that it's sincere. But by no means necessary should you wait and should you obsess with these readings and hoping and praying and actually losing yourself more and not focusing on who you need to be as an individual. Because what happens is when you fall back and let them go and let them go through whatever they need to go through and you continue to heal yourself, either God is going to send you a soulmate or they're going to get back on track and get their life together and come and find you. But until then, do not, I repeat, do not waste your life hoping and praying for somebody to get it together when they clearly show you that they're not ready. Do you.